Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Bar Racing. This week we are in Ordibana, which is a gaseous sky planet. It was once the site of a great war back from eons ago with the Sith versus the Galactic Empire. Of course, the Sith lost. We don't need any of that mumbo jumbo. We don't need any of that massive fake whatever it is here. We believe in Truggets, and gosh darn it, Truggets is what we will make today because we are betting on so many things. We are betting on Odie Mandrell, who is the track favorite, but not the one that we are following today. We are following Ev Endicott. He is a tricky one. He was actually the track favorite for the last race we watched, but we shall see how he does on this. This is a scrap mining planet. It mines things, and this is going well. I'm being articulate, but this city was... A mining city, it is now a derelict mining city. Not many people inhabit it anymore. We can see Eb Endicott is right off the bat. He is going for it right off the bat. And of course, here you can see that there are two levels. The, the upper level is faster, but it's harder to stay up on. Eb Endicott is doing a pretty good job of staying on that upper thing with Odie Mandrell following right up behind him. And oh, but Odie Mandrell has now fallen onto the bottom track, which means he will be slowed down. We have Clegg Holdfast bringing up third. We have a bunch of crew. See, now we are on the mining platform. This platform was once used to mine the planet of that Ord Ibana hovers over. But, of course, again, this is a derelict place. This, oh, gosh. Racing folks, this week we are in Ord Ibana, which is the site of a great civil war, not civil war, just a war, a long time ago between the Sith and the... on the pro circuit. This week we are on Ordibana, which is a floating gaseous planet, not unlike city, not unlike Cloud City. Uh, this was actually the site of a great battle back between the Sith and the Galactic Republic eons ago, where the Sith tried to fight off the Galactic Republic and they succeeded somehow. But none of that mystic mumbo jumbo here. We believe in truggets. Sith don't exist, they will never exist, and they have never existed, except for when they did, and we don't need them. The Republic has gone on swimmingly without Jedi and without Sith. We are happy where we are, and gosh darn it, we believe in truckets. So get your truckets ready, place your bets, because we are about to go through a derelict mining floating city that is terrible to live in, terrible to be in, and great to pod race in. This week we are following Eb Endicott. Odie Mandrell is the track favorite, of course. He loves this city. His people are originally from this city, but then they moved away when the entire city went kaput. So, you can see that Ebba Nakat has taken an early lead. Ebba Nakat was the track favorite from the last race, uh, but we are watching him now in a completely different scenario. He is on the upper track. The upper track is faster, uh, and of course, now he's dropped. As soon as I start talking, he drops, because of course he does. Eb Endicott is, of course, on the lower track, which is slower than that upper track, but we can see that he's still managing to hold that lead. He is following the track. He is very diligent. He is trying to stay as strict to that track as possible. He is going down the course. He is still in first, but we can see Odie Mandrell is right behind him, trying to catch him. Clegg Holfast is in third. Clegg Holfast is trying to catch Odie, who is trying to catch Eb. It's all a fun little cycle. And, of course, we have Bozzy Baranta in last, way in last, Second in last is, of course, Rax Tyrell, who's from the Ice Planet, Endo Prime. So, of course, he's not going to be used to air, which is what we are racing in now. Because that makes more sense. And here we have Ebendicott coming over the first major jump. 
failing that first major jump, smashing into bits. We can see Odie Mandrell click, hold fast, half past them. Oh, and they are now on the second pass. Second jump, bam, and he lands hard, but oh my gosh, Gano is right there too, but Evan Ocon manages to sneak past them right at the end there, right out there. So he manages to finish that second first lap, doing pretty well. He is now leading the pack, the front pack, except for Odie, of course, who is way in the front. Odie again, oh, and he failed to make that little hop. That hop is hard, folks, because pod racers don't jump. So when there are gaps in the track, it gets awkward. But anyway, moving on. We have Evan Nagant, who has now fallen down to fourth. He is holding on to that middle position, trying as best as he can. He likes his oh, but he's taking a shortcut through the mining facility. That again, defunct mining facility, and he's managed to take a minor shortcut. It seems to have worked out for him. He put a little bit of distance between him and fifth and sixth. Sixth, of course, being Elon Mach, but fifth, I cannot tell who it is. But that is okay, because who really cares? Odie Mandrell is in first. Hope you played put your truckets on him. I certainly did. So who knows? Hopefully I won't fail and flunk and lose my kneecaps again. Back to the race. Odie Mandrell has just finished first and the he has entered the third lap as first. Click Holfass has taken second. Evan Endicott is holding on to that fourth position. He's pretty far behind Odie, but he's managed to actually make the jump this time and the second jump. Now a lot of racers smash into those two poles right there. That's just for fun. They put that up there. That is not actually mining equipment. That was just there just to mess with the pod racers, oddly enough. Here we have Evan Ocott trying so very, very hard to stay on this upper track just to gain a little bit of speed, just trying to hold on to that position. We can see that 5th through 11th are all within this little tight... Oh, and here we have Shibulba using his time water technique of setting others on fire in order to get ahead. There's still a little bit of discrepancy as to whether that's allowed. Oh, and Evan Ocott has taken a massive shortcut. He has managed to jump way ahead of Shibulba, Jump way ahead of Neva Key. He has managed to take fifth. That was a remarkable jump up the ranks, folks. That was remarkable. If he manages to keep pulling these kinds of stunts, who knows where, what place he will. I know he'll probably be fifth. But that is okay. Oh, and he is in eighth now. Ninth now. Oh, my lord. He is right smack dab in the middle of his pack. This pack is tight. It is consistent. We have Odie Mandrell finishing first, as predicted. Click Holdfast has finished second. And now this pack. Oh, we can see that quite a few of those... Racers have managed to fail this jump, which lets Ebendokot manage to catch up pretty well. But, oh, and he manages to sneak ahead of Sabalba, who is again trying to catch his competitors on fire. Again, a little bit of a discrepancy there as to whether or not that's allowed. But it's pod racing. Pod racing isn't exactly on the up and up anyway, so who cares? Anyway, this has been an exciting race. Hope you had your targets on the right racer. Odie Mandrell, of course. We will see you next week in Baru. The, the jungle planets. Good night and good luck. <laughs>